Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring by grouping. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, mz minus 5mh squared minus 5nz plus 25nh squared, and we need to factor this completely. Well, first thing I like to do is group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. The second two terms becomes tricky. That minus sign here goes to the 5nz, but not the 25nh squared. By putting a parenthesis here, that would make this minus sign distribute to both parts. That's an issue. But if I make it a negative right here, 25nh squared, when the minus sign gets distributed, it keeps it positive. So we're, we have to make sure we do that step. Now let's go find a common term in the first parentheses. An m is in both parts. So we pull out an m, and I'm left with a z minus 5h squared. The second part here, what do we see that we can pull out? Well, 5n goes into both parts. So I pull out a 5n, what am I left with? Well, just a z here, minus, well, 25 divided by 5 is 5, and we pull out the n, so we're left with just the h squared. That looks familiar z minus 5h squared is in both parts now. So I'm going to pull that out, z minus 5h squared here. By pulling that out, I'm left with, well, what's in front of each one, an m minus 5n. And so our final answer here is m minus 5n times z minus 5h squared. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.